Other things that I can do as far as editing my alignment goes is I can select on the alignment and I have a geometry editor here. And what that allows me to do is I can change any of the values about some of them. Now I can lock certain constraints that would keep me from editing certain things, but I can change in this case the length of a curve, the radius of it, or I can set lines based on two points. Also I have the ability under my modify drop down here to reverse the direction. Gives me a little warning saying that it's going to affect objects that might be created from the alignment. So now my starting station is at the other end and just as easily I can go back and change it back. Also a neat tool is the ability to create offset alignments. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create two alignments for my edges of paving on either side. And I could do this command over to do all the different curb lines. I'm going to set my alignment style to be a curb and set the layer that I want it to go on, which is my proposed curb layer. And I don't want any labels on my curb like I do for my center line. And then I press OK and my offset alignments are created. Well now if I go in here and edit any of my criteria for my roadway those alignments get adjusted as well. Again nice interactive capabilities there. Now keep in mind that these are tied to the parent alignment so they can't be edited by themselves. And also from my toolbar I can create a profile right here for that particular alignment and we'll take a look at those next.